Good morning, my family in Christ. As we end our time of devotion this week, I'm so grateful for the blessings of God as He showed us and revealed to us as we feasted on Psalm 34, verse 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in Him the Word of God, to the people of God. Today, I want us to interview John, John the Divine, John the Revelator. And in some circles, he is called St. John. According to Tertullian, John was banished after being plunged into boiling oil in Rome and suffered nothing from it. You see, to be a Christian in the early days was to expect death, punishment, everything that is negative. The enemy is still doing that today. A little more subtle, but he still wants to kill steal and destroy. What I like about John, his taste of God, his trust of God, he believed in everything that God said, helped him through his most difficult season. To John, God was his rock, his fortress, his deliverer, in whom He took refuge. God was his shield and horn, the horn of his salvation, his strong tower. That is what God wants to be to us today. Everything so that we may stand against the wiles of the devil. And having done all, He still wants us to stand. Because what the devil means for bad, God turns it around for the good of them that love him. So John was supposed to be killed in the boiling hot oil, but nothing happened to him. And so as a political refuge, as a political enemy, because he was speaking about the revelation of God. The Romans dumped him on the Isle of Patmos to die. But in that season, Sean received a revelation. What was given to Christ, he gave it to the angels, and the angels gave it to John. John, in turn, give it to the church. And as a result of his pain, his suffering, we today can receive of God. God wants to use you. He wants to use a season in your life. He wants to use us for his glory. Will we give him an opportunity? As we continue to meditate, we read Revelation 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep the things that are written therein, for the time is at hand. The word of God to the people of God. Father, that we may learn like John did. More importantly, that we may learn from John how the worst could happen the worst can be against us. But with our trust, with our tasting and seeing that the Lord is good, we can take refuge in God. And God will turn it around. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. And for that, we are grateful. We pray for those who lead the nations, including our prime minister and all of parliament. We pray for the medical professions, we pray for 
all other leaders of the nations, leaders in society, more particularly leaders in the body of Christ, that we may lead with love, with care and concern. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we bring families before you everywhere. Let your name be exalted in us. This we ask in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you today. God bless you this weekend. As you seek Him, despite what the enemy may do for you, remember, God with us is the hope of the world. Have a great day in the Lord. 